Hello and welcome back to Guillotine, the 18th century chemist theater. And, uh, as promised, I said I'd work through another example of a precipitation reaction. Uh, if you uh, don't know what I'm talking about, you might want to go back to the last lesson and, and see me work through this the first time. Uh, but I'm just going to do the same exact thing I did last time, except to use a different reaction. So let's take a look at one of these. And, and we'll, I'll go in a bit more detail about some of the steps too. I, I broke out the old chalkboard again here. Um, so what we're going to do this time is look at uh, the reaction of lead to nitrate and sodium iodide, both aqueous solutions. So we're going to mix them together and see what happens. And again, you should have a solubility chart with you, um, either the one I had from the last lesson or one of the links or anything like that. Any of those will work, um, just so you can predict whether or not the products are soluble. And so we need to write the formulas first. You should be able to write the formulas for lead to nitrate and sodium iodide, and then we'll go through a little bit about how we did this on the next page, but we have PB in parentheses, NO3 parentheses 2, and sodium iodide, NAI. Um, those are both aqueous because they said so, but if you looked on the solubility charts, that would back up. Again, nitrates are always soluble, and uh, again, a group 1 metal like sodium uh, is typically going to be soluble too. And then uh, you can write down the ionic components. And as I said last time, you really don't have to do it in this order. Uh, it, it might make sense for you to write down all your ionic compounds components first and then mix them together and form the formulas from there. It's, it's really, you're sort of doing these at the same time anyway. And the reason that we have the ion pool is so that we can mix and match and make our products. So let's break out the old chalkboard here. Um, again, now we have to name these things. Uh, lead to nitrate. Remember that that's going to be PB2+, plus. they told you the charge, uh, and so the nitrates are minus one charges, and so I'm going to need two of those to balance out the charge, so that's going to be PB, and then again in parentheses NO3, parentheses 2, and then sodium iodide is extremely straightforward, sodium has a plus one charge, iodide has a minus one charge, so you're done. All right. And so what we can do then is we can actually just drop these in our solution. So let's get rid of all that stuff, drop them in. And so that's what we have floating around in our solution, are those four ions. Okay? And so uh, what we can do then is swap our ions. So remember, lead came to the party with nitrate, sodium came to the party with iodide, but they're going to check out who else is there. Remember that the cations will not go to the other cations, nor will the anions go to the other anions. So that really only leaves one choice here. Lead's going to check out iodide, and, uh, and sodium's going to check out nitrate. And so we can write down the formulas for the products. Technically, you don't have to. You can just check for solubility, but, you know, you know why not? <laughs> so I'm going to end up with PBI2 and NaNO3. Remember, again, one of the classic mistakes of these problems is for people to take whatever subscripts they had at the beginning and automatically transfer those to the products. You have to redetermine the subscripts of the ionic compound. Don't worry that it's not going to work out. We can always balance it later. So I, I, I have a little solution here of all of the ions floating around in there. And we're going to bring together our, our available ions, lead, nitrate, sodium, and iodide. And we're going to swap partners. All right? And so it's going to, you're going to have lead with iodide and sodium with nitrate. Sodium with nitrate's done. It's a one-to-one -one charge. We will need an extra iodide in there to balance out the charge. So that's where we end up with the formulas. All right? And then we can just check out the solubility rules at this point. All right? Uh, nitrate, sodium nitrate is about as soluble as it gets. Um, but lead to iodide, on the other hand, um, iodides tend to be pretty soluble, but not with lead to. And again, so that, that's going to be our soluble uh, product there. Uh, that is actually a uh, classic precipitate, uh, lead to iodide. And so we can run through the equations again as is. Now that we've got our formulas, we can go ahead and balance them out. You'll need a couple subscripts there to get everybody balanced out. I mean, uh, super, I'm sorry, coefficients to balance everybody out. You'll need a 2 in front of the sodium iodide and a 2 in front of the sodium nitrate. And that should get us balanced out. So we could tease out the total net ionic. Again, pause the video if you want. Go ahead and do this yourself and then check um, uh, your work against mine. It looks a little messy. It's a little bit of work, but it's really the same thing, just restated. Notice that we have two nitrates now. We have two sodiums and two iodides uh, on both sides, and that should make sense because everything has to stay balanced out. But we'll, call, we'll cross out our spectator ions that we talked about last time. Nitrate and sodium aren't doing anything. And so we end up with a net ionic equation. Really, the only thing that's happening in there is that lead 2 is reacting with the iodide ions to form the precipitate lead iodide. 
And that's it. That's another example. You'll see the classic yellow color of lead iodide there. Uh, in the links, I'll put a, uh, a, a video of that. And uh, that's it. So, one more example for you there. Uh, again, this is a skill you really should have down. You should be able to predict the products. You should be able to uh, uh, determine the solubility of things. And then you should be able to write down the molecular total slash complete and net ionic equations for these things. So I hope that extra practice helped. That was pretty, pretty simple there. Um, keep practicing. Thanks for watching and have a great day.